stuff everyone wants to hear. So let's do an unboxing. I guess you can call it an unboxing. That's the uh, the HTP Inver Arc 200 TLP. I and mean, I've had this thing for uh, for more than a year. I think I got this in December or January of 2018. Uh, I don't do unboxing videos, but I guess I save the box. I may as well do it now. So uh, this video, I'll make it short. Let's just uh, let's see what it comes with. Let's uh, let's set up the machine. Let's go through the menus, all the different uh, options and settings, and then uh, I'll do a, a different video on uh, on welding with different electrodes. Right? So let's take a look at it. It's about 14 pounds or so. Got a 10 foot power cable, 10 gauge conductors. Work clamp. This is not how it comes stock. Stock it comes with, uh, I'm going to say about 10 or 12 feet. I, I length, lengthened it. I had some leftover uh, welding cable from Electron Beam. This is an oversized 4 gauge. It's oversized by about 10%, so I really like it. So I, I lengthened this to about it's about 22 feet, I think. So again, it doesn't come like this stock. Uh, this is the stinger. Again, this is not how it comes stock. I, uh, I length lengthened this as well. I made it about 22, 23 feet. Again, with a welding cable from Electron Beam. Uh, I also added the uh, remote control Ambridge slider. Really neat. And uh, I put it all in this uh, plastic expandable seating. Um, that's because I have the the wire going through here keeps keep it all nice, nice and tidy. I even have a little extra slack. I could have made it longer, but it's fine the way it is for now. I said it's about 22, 23 feet. And um, actually, I separated it. Um, I can I can take off the, the slider if I want to and just kind of like move it off to the side. This is the actual wire going to it, so I can I can do away with it if I want to. Um, so let's uh, let's set it up on the, on the welding table and uh, let's power it up. Okay, so here I have it uh, set up on my little welding table, and as you can see, uh, it's uh, sitting next to the one of my HTP coolers. It's a, it's a tiny little unit. The cooler is massive compared to it. So it's, it's sitting next to the cooler uh, for a very specific reason, and we're going to be running it with that cooler. So um, yeah, a little bit more uh, about that in just a little bit. So uh, let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's get a close-up, and uh, let's play with the settings. All right, let's go ahead and turn it on. Okay, so let's go through uh, let's go through the modes that it has and the functions and features. So as far as uh, amperage range, so this can go down to four amps, all the way up to two hundred. So right now it is in the standard arc uh, mode. Uh, so this is your standard mode for running um, DC polarity rods such as seventy eighteen, sixty thirteens, etc., etc. Um, you can also run 6010s on here, Not uh, it's better when you switch it to cellulose mode. So what's the difference between those two modes? Uh, as far as from the menus and options, the, one of the differences is uh, with regards to the, the arc force. So let's, let's look at the, the options in the arc mode. We press the function button. Here we can access the arc force, sometimes called uh, dig, on some of uh, some other machines. Press it again, it was blinking. Okay, so you, you can adjust the arc force from zero all the way to 200% uh, in your standard arc welding mode. 
the other feature that's the other features that are available. You have um, you have pulse uh, welding available on stick on stick. So here you can adjust the pulse frequency with, from 0.4 pulses per second, which is a, it's a very slow pulse, all the way up to all the way up to five pulses per second. The 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 on time is already preset at 50% on pulse. So is the background current. It's already preset at 50% of whatever your main welding amperage is. So that is not adjustable. The other adjustable feature that it has is if you press down the function button, uh, you can access the hot start. So on this machine, the hot start is adjustable from 3% up to 40. Okay. Uh, I tend to prefer a somewhere 25 to 30% uh, give or take. So that's just my preference. So let's switch over to the mode, uh, cellulose mode. So we still have arc force, um, but now we have from zero all the way to 500%. So you can have that extra amperage uh, when you have the, ele the electrode really close to, uh, to the base metal. And when you're in danger of contacting it, it'll bump up the amperage. So you can adjust that. You can still adjust pulse as well. You can turn off pulse just by holding it down. Press, press the function button down and it'll turn it off. There you go. And of course you can access the hot start menu again. Hot start from three to 40%. Uh, keep it right around uh, 25 to 30% myself. And then you also have TIG mode. So this works as a lift arc uh, TIG welder. So you can do Again, anywhere from four all the way up to 200 amps. Uh, you can either use a on-off momentary switch mounted on your torch, or you can actually hook up a foot pedal to it uh, as well. In, in place of the slider, you hook up a foot pedal, and you can use lift arc, and you have a 200 amp uh, DC TIG welder. Okay, so uh, stay tuned for my next video, because I'm gonna be using this. Uh, for stick welding. So this is a, a water-cooled uh, dense connector as you can see and I'm gonna, uh, this is hooked up to the to the cooler. So I'm gonna be using this for stick welding. How you might, might ask, so what I have here this right here is uh, one of a kind. This is a, just a standard electrode holder that I converted to a water-cooled uh, stinger. This is a water-cooled. Uh, I'm using uh, CK Worldwide. Uh, it's a 50 foot TIG torch cable uh, for the power cable and for the, the water return. And I even put its own uh, its own slider on there as well. So I'm using uh, 50 foot lines and it's nice and light. That's the reason I just wanted to try it out to see if it, it would work. Keep the, the weight ultra light and sure enough, uh, as you'll see, and again, it's unique. It's even the slider itself. This is a 50, this is a 50 foot cable. I had to extend it 25 feet uh, just to get it to work but it did work normally these only come in 25 feet and it's the it's the only one on the whole planet it's the only one in existence so i just want to make sure you caught that make sure you're aware of that it's the only one on the whole freaking planet all right so stay tuned for the next video and uh, we'll do some uh, some practice welds uh with this beast right here all right